Grand Prix Grand Final here inside Trondheim Spectrum. There are people all over the place, and we are going to talk to them. The stars are here. Who will go to Eurovision? We are going to find out in the coming hours. We're going to wait by Kaino's booth. Let's talk to Kaino first. Why not? They're one of the favorites. They, of course, have been to Eurovision before. The line, y'all, the line is long, but we are going to wait because they are amazing. Now, during rehearsals, we have to tell you, Alessandra was really serving. She gave this high note that she hadn't given before. Four. She took it up a notch, and you're going to hear her do that tonight during the grand final. You better be prepared. I want to shout out to Ann Vic, and not Vic, wee wee blogger who is behind me filming. She is amazing. And Prince oh, Kaino is here. Hello. Hello. That's right. Oh, That's you are. Oh, my crazy. goodness. You are live on Instagram. I'm live. We, Hello. <laughs> we have to ask how did rehearsals go? Uh, at first, it didn't go well at all because the, uh, the boxes, uh, walls didn't fall. So I was all alone on stage and I was just like, where is Tom and Fred? But, uh, but we got, to, yeah. yeah. It happened in the, in the rehearsal on uh, last week and as well. Yeah, so hopefully it's like it means good luck. Oh, hopefully. does it? I'm not ah, sure. Maybe. Is that a Sammy tradition? What luck is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Yeah. I have to yoik it up if it's not open. Yeah. Yeah. Now you, of course, that dum dig -a -da, it's so powerful. How is your voice holding up? My voice? Well, it's okay. Yeah, yeah I'm used to, to that thing. Yeah. Sounded good to me. I, that was not shade. That was not shade. <laughs> you had a little surprise in rehearsal vocally. Yes, I did. Nobody knew. Or I told, actually, I told you last <laughs> night. <laughs> but yeah. It was just so flawless. Thank you so much. And Tom, what's it like to be in that box hiding, waiting for your moment to come out? Well, uh, I guess some of us have uh, had that experience before, but I, I would say this is like the coming out moment of every Eurovision gay boy's dream. Coming out <laughs> on a big stage with Alexandra in front and all the, all the glitter. And when he comes out, he comes out. You guys, we wish you so much luck. It's going to be amazing. Thank Thank you good luck, guys. Thank you. It was incredible. They are Kaino, one of the favorites to win tonight. We love them so much. So much energy, so much positivity. Who is free? Who is free? We are going to wait on Anne Princess. Anne Princess has a very moving backstory. Liberian born she left the country moved to Norway started a new life and she is here slaying musically visually just across the board and she is right behind me I cannot wait to talk to this queen it's funny Freddie and um, Jacob disappeared we were hoping to do some some pictures with the stars but that's not gonna happen but hey I have my cell phone we can do a selfie y'all <laughs> oh my goodness and princess is free oh sorry thank you so much Oh my goodness, I have to tell you, you are amazing. Thank you. I read about you actually in England in the Mail Online newspaper. Okay. Beautiful story, Liberian born, moved to Norway, making it in music. What's it like to be on the MGP stage? I mean, with my background, who would have thought? Yeah. Who would have thought? But it's an amazing honor. And it's like, I've already, I feel like I've already won. Mm. Because like, out of so many artists, I'm here. Yeah. And that's insane. You were so happy after semi-final <laughs> three. The joy, it was yeah. beautiful to watch. Do you still have that feeling? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've been living on that joy for like, you know, of the past days now. Oh. And it, it, it hurts to see that reaction because I was so surprised. Oh, it's beautiful. I was though. so surprised. My friend Anna here, she was sitting by your mother and your mother was overwhelmed. <laughs> How has she been handling all this? She's, she's worse than me. Like, I can't, I can't talk to her because she's just going to stress me out. But she, she has her faith. Yeah. And she knows that we have a beautiful product, so she just puts her faith in God, and then yeah. what happens, happens. From Monrovia to the world, girl. From Monrovia yes. to the world. <laughs> Let me tell you, I got to take this selfie, because yes, you were the one I was dying to meet. Let's get a groupie. Here we go. Three, two, one. That's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I wish you so much luck. Thank you so and much. And I'm going to be downloading that song, streaming that song. Give me a music video. Give it all to me. That's all I could ever ask. Thank you <laughs> Thank so Thank you much. so much. Tools and talk. Tools and talk. Bye-bye. She is amazing. That was the beautiful Anne Princess. Anne Princess is a queen. Who else can we... Oh, girl. Girl, Gota is available. Gota is here. They are the heavy favorites. Hello, Gota. Hello. How are you? I am so good. You are rocking out. You are spinning. Our girl is spinning. What is it like to spin? 
Oh, well, um, it's, uh, I, I'm having a kind of a, a fight up there, but uh, it's a fight that also gives me uh, energy. It's like... Um, you, have, you have a real physical I, yeah, challenge yeah. and you have to overcome it. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing because you're so pretty and petite and then on stage it's the beast <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Is it a different woman up there? Uh, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. I think that's a compliment. That's a huge compliment. Yes, I'm a beast. Yes. <laughs> you, of course, are from Trondheim. So this audience tonight, it's going to be a lot of fire. What's it like to perform in your hometown? Who, who, in this setting, in front of 8,000 uh, uh, Eurovision 8, audience, 8,500, we don't know yet. We, no. we know that Eurovision audience is quite different from the, than our regular audience, so we'll see. But you can, for sure, you feel that this is like, yeah. it's not a normal day. It's something, <laughs> we're a part of something huge, and it's kind of, it kind of doesn't feel that we're home. It's, it's like we're in another... We're the, another planet. Yeah. <laughs> the Eurovision planet. And a final question. There's a lot of movement. You guys are all over the place. Have you ever hit each other? Are there any collisions? Uh, well, actually, no. no. Uh, we played together for so long, and uh, it, it always works out fine. But we're close. We're really close yeah. sometimes. Once yeah. I almost got this guitar in my head, actually. It's yeah, really <laughs> like five uh, meters <laughs> up and uh, boom, right in front of me. But that was just all muscle. Yeah, yeah. But it's like magnetism. We sort of repel and attract and repel and attract. Yeah. Yeah. And Europe is attracted to you. Let's take a selfie and get in this photo. Let's do this. Here we go. Putting it on turn around. And three, two, one. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. Good luck tonight. Oh, thank you. A hot mess. <laughs> That was Gocha. They are the favorites to win this evening. The public is going to get behind them. Very beautiful people. So kind, so warm. We love their energy. And we're going to wait on Erica Norwich. That is Erica with an E. She is currently taking photos, doing her thing. A beautiful... Oh, wait. So she's actually Erica, girl. We are going to wait for Erica to turn around. That's her brother. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Hello to the person with... Let's do this, absolutely. We are going to wait on Erica for what? Erica, honey, can we ask you a few questions on the live stream? It's in English, and there's one word you need to know. Queen, honey, how does it feel to be here with all these people voting for you? Ah, it's amazing, and I have the best uh, fans ever. They have made the big posters, and they are wearing pink, and they have dyed their hair, and I love it. It's incredible. This look, how long did it take you to put it together? I didn't do it myself. It's uh, thanks to Kåre Omni at uh, NRK. He made it. He made it on his uh, own. So it's, I don't know how lo long it took, but I, I think it took a while. And we have to say, in the rehearsal, you were so much more confident. You were so much, it was like you beat your demons. Are you feeling better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, fuck the haters. And now I'm just doing my thing, and for all I, I think I came here with like um, uh, a positive thing, and that's people think I suck, people think I can't sing, and I, I love that because now I can prove them. Oh, you proved it today in rehearsal. It was beautiful. How do I say "fuck the haters" in Norwegian? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> for, uh, I think it's the same because we don't have a na name for haters. It was so just. And final question for you: If you go to Eurovision, what message do you want the people to take away? To take away? Yeah. What do you want to teach the people of Europe? Oh, I want to teach them to find the inner child in themselves and uh, just uh, spread positivity because we need that. We need colors. I also think people should uh, uh, wear more colors because it's so much black and white it's super boring <laughs> i'm wearing all black girl i feel bad now yeah it was directed to you i'm just joking i actually didn't see that before i saw you're amazing though can we take a photo and you want to be in this and now we are taking a pic she is erica norwich her super rob is gorgeous we're taking this photo three two one you are amazing you're incredible good luck 
We are moving, moving, moving. Who is available? Who is open? We scan the green room and we walk. You know what? We are going to keep on moseying to the end of the line. Absolutely. Eric and Anna are here bringing country music to the world. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Congratulations on winning the mock rehearsal vote. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you so much. We were uh, supposed to go uh, after the re re rehearsal because we won. <laughs> but we, uh, we can't do that. Well, we, uh, we're happy about that. So we, have, we won one time today. Yeah, so. Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful song, beautiful English. What's it like to sing together? It's it's really nice to sing yeah. with Anna and uh, yeah we we met on The Voice and we didn't get to sing together there, so like this is a uh, yeah this was this was uh, meant to happen yeah absolutely yeah. <laughs> so from competitors to friends yeah yeah absolutely yeah. oh and we we wrote the song together with uh, with Alex a um, friend of mine and, uh, and and sing our song in this final. It's uh, it's a dream come true. <laughs> it's a very intimate thing to write the music together. Uh, how long did it take? One, uh, one day. One day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a Sunday uh, in the summer. I sent uh, the melody over to her, and uh, she wrote the lyrics back. Uh, sent back the lyrics uh, the same day. Oh, that's incredible. It is, and we have some small uh, tweaks uh, on the song, of course, in the studio. But uh, the song was made. On one day. So. Yeah. And for people who enjoy the music and maybe they're not listening to the words, tell them what's the message of the song. The message uh, of the song is it's about acceptance. Like you want acceptance from uh, the people that are close to you, like your friends and family, uh, because now you're you're starting to fall in love, and you know you when you fall in love, you can do some stupid things sometimes, you know, because you get you're so blindly in love. So it's about the uh, you're asking for acceptance from yeah your um, close people. The Norwegians have accepted you. The Norwegians love you. <laughs> what have you taken away from this experience? It's almost over. What's it done for you personally? Oh, we have a lot of a uh, lot of things actually because it's uh, we have met so many new people. We have seen what MGP is. Uh, it's it's uh, it's going far. Uh, out the border as well. Yeah. It's uh, like you are talking, yeah. speaking English. It's uh, you have amazing English. When you sing that song, I'm like, they're from Nashville. They're from Tennessee or something. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, we, we are uh, we're confident with the song, and we uh, we we love to sing the song tonight here yeah. in uh, yeah. in this really big arena in Trondheim, yeah, my really. home place. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're from Trondheim. Oh, wow. You have special power with you then. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I guess you would agree with everything. Yes, I do. Yeah. I do. Give us the real story. No. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. Judge them tenderly. We're going to take a photo and say goodbye. Oh, Let's get in. Course, Anna. Oop, sorry. Turning the selfie on. Point five. Get the love. Three. Ooh. Yeah. Three, two, one. Amazing. Good luck, you guys. Thank you. Have Thank fun. You so much. This green room is hot. The color is pink, but I am feeling red. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're moving back. Now, I don't see any other art. Oh, Mia is here, y'all. The green lights are on. We don't follow traffic signs. We don't follow the traffic lights. We only pay attention to green. Red, yellow, doesn't matter. Our girl's having a last-minute talk with the publicist from NRK, and we are moving in. Me, oh, but Mia has young fans. But Margaret Berger has entered the building. Woo! Margaret Berger yeah. is here. Hi. Eurovision 2013 queen, how are you? I'm so good. I'm so looking forward to this night. Oh, my God. It's been 11 years. It's incredible. But you look fresher. You look more confident. You sound just as good. Thank you. I need to hear that. <laughs> Keep it coming. <laughs> and I must say, compared to the semi-final, I watched the rehearsal, I feel like you're much more confident in your movement. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I'm not a dancer at all, but I really wanted to have modern dance as a part of the routine. Mm. So I'm just like happy that the dancers have been patient with me. <laughs> <laughs> and just like, we've rehearsed a lot, so we're ready. They judge tenderly of you, honey. It's perfection. <laughs> now, can we talk about your costume? It's very Nordic to me. Me. Yes, and that's the point. Like, I wanted to do some like Scandinavian minimalism, which I think we do very well. But like Akne and the yeah Swedish Akne. Uh, so the the whole suit thing is actually like just like business people. 
that are, uh, are just like putting down their suitcases and going to a rave. Ah, I see. Because my friend said in a loving way, he said she could be a secretary, she could be a businesswoman. Yes. She, you are That's running the company. I'm a lady boss. <laughs> she is a lady boss. Now, I feed you my love. This people still play it. Like honestly, in London, where I'm from, I hear this. Like my friends talk about it. Are you still feeding the world your love? I hope so. I I I just really love that song, and I love how it's made a mark in the Eurovision yeah. world. And I'm just so grateful that people still love it. It's amazing. And of course, in the past 11 years, the biggest change is your two children. Yes. I'm curious, what is it like to be a performer and a mother now? Does it change you? I think it changes something. I'm not really sure what, but I just think that my time is more precious in a way. Like, I really need to spend time with them and want to spend time with them. So I feel even more, like, hungry to do music so that I can, like, bring them with me into that world. Yeah. It's a bit hard to explain, but I'm trying to, like, merge the two worlds where I can have the balance. Oh my gosh, a lot, us gay men often say mothering. You are mothering, girl, <laughs> all of us. And we wish you nothing but luck tonight. Do you have a final message for your fans on WeBeBlogs.com? I just, thank you, I have to say thank you for all the messages, every, every single one I read. And uh, yeah, thank you for all the support I've, you've given me throughout the years and keep supporting me. Please. Oh my God. Tuesday, Tuesday talk for India. Fantastic show. Now, girl, let's get a selfie. Yes. Love her so much. She is Margaret Berger. Cool as ice, beautiful as snow. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. You're incredible. Good luck tonight. <laughs> Enjoy. She is a true icon. That was Margaret Berger. Mia, girl, we are moving on. Not red light, not yellow light. It no, is green light. Green. <laughs> You had an emotional postcard talking about your break from music. You know, people had said move to L.A., but you followed your heart. Could you tell people abroad about this backstory? Yeah, so I had a crazy success with Dynasty, uh, billboard crazy stuff. Uh, so that I will always be grateful for because it made, you know, my career happen. Uh, but after that, uh, there was a lot of pressure to make a new dynasty, a new smash right away. And I was just 17, so uh, my confidence just broke down. So yeah, it was uh, harsh, but kind of now I'm grateful that it happened. You know, I think everything happens for a reason, and yeah. I had to dig in, um, dig in the dirt and yeah. uh, heal, and I did. And uh, you know, it's uh, still stuff to work on. Their life will always be like this. Mm. But now I feel so much sure in myself, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. What advice do you have for people who feel that they're in the dirt? How do they get out? I think not, re not resist it. Because mm. that's what you do at first. You resist it. You don't want to feel, uh, feel the bad the feelings. Yeah. But you have to. You have to let it just the con consume you is that how you say it and then and then uh, grow from there you know it yeah. it will be better on the other side that's incredible now she turned the red light to a green light now tell us about your song green lights yeah green lights is very meta because uh, it's about all of that you know mm. doubting yourself letting fear get in the way i've done that a lot in my life so this song is kind of like my mantra to trust in my truth and just trust that I am on a path and that path is exactly how it's supposed to be, oh. you know? So I think uh, everybody can f feel that in a way, you know, that yeah. uh, sometimes we just uh, get, get in the way of our own uh, life. So, yeah, and then we miss out on the green lights or the good oh. signs, you know, because they are everywhere. I gotta say, I watched the rehearsal and you seemed more confident than in the semi-final. Do you feel that? Yes, I do, because it's, it's been better and better each time I've done it, and uh, this is what I'm meant to do, to be on a big stage. It's like I've always dreamed about it. I've, <laughs> I've been crying so many times oh, today. Oh, it's beautiful. But it's just, it means so much, you know. Yeah, You're doing incredible, the staging is beautiful, and you look amazing. We wish you so much luck. Thank you so, so much. Oh, Thank babe, I, oh. this is so cool. I don't want to mess up your makeup though. No, no. Let's take a <laughs> selfie before you go. <laughs> Woo. And we're going to go in. Oh, Anne, are you in?
and wide. Three, two, one. I love that. Best of luck. It's beautiful on stage, really. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. She was Mia. That is M-I-I-A. Green lights, electric powered, but we're in Norway, so you know it's green, y'all. It is always green in Norway. We're going to see who else is around. Now, I have very... Gothminster, we have not spoken to the Lord of the Dark. And who else is here? Okay, we, there is no one here, so we are moving. I just want to shout out to Anna, our camerawoman. She has done such a beautiful job throughout the semifinals, providing coverage for WeebyBlogs.com. And she's loaning us her phone and microphone right, right now, which is incredible. So, there's a line for Gothminster, and we're just going to wait. Let's just sit. And Anna, if you see Gothminster become free, just holler, and I will shut up. I've got to tell you guys, watching the rehearsals today really changed my opinion about a lot of these songs. It's much more wide open than I thought. And also, the power of Gota for me finally hit. When you see them live, it is like, whoa. And so I'm going to be really interested to see how the international juries react. Because you can never predict what the internationals think. It's always a bit of a mystery. Now, Gotham Minster is greeting his fans. And so we will move in on the beast. When the beast turns, you will get an interview. <laughs> I am loving this green room, which is color. Hey, girl. Oh, I love you, honey. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful night. <laughs> the people in Norway are so kind, so generous. They are greeting Gothminster, and so are we. We're just going to wait for him to turn around. Now, is this scepter at every single one? Let's show the people this beautiful scepter. It's almost like a Gothminster wand, you know? He could work his spell. Oh, we have 91 people are here. Thank you so much. Netta21. Hello, Dane3W. Hello, Andy. Hello, D underscore Budnova. Absolutely love that. Ingeroy. Alice Thirsty, Miss Mimic. There are so many beautiful people. Now, Gothminster is with the children. As y'all know, in his stage show, he has children. And the children of Norway are here to see him. Oh, but that is not a child taking a photo. That is an adult. He is speaking to adults and children. He is just absolutely killing it. Now, I don't know where Freddie and um, Jacob went, but they are somewhere in the building. We are going to take another photo of Gothminster. Boom. This is incredible. You guys, the energy in here is palpable. There is so much love in the room. You know what? I am trying to sell ice to a snowman. But you know what? We're here. You know that Eurovision is love. Gothminster is wearing a beautiful crown, very sharp. He's wearing black and gray, different colors. And he will turn around at some point. I promise you that. But until he does, he is greeting the children. Gothminster is here for the children. And he is not going to leave this room till every single child has a photo with him. Because that is how the Norwegians do it. Norge is love. Yes. Tusen, tusen tak for in the fantastic show. Now, I've got to tell you, the Gothminster setup is very complicated. And you'll see this on the Weeby Blogs Instagram. I'm going to upload the images we took during rehearsal after they perform. So you can see, see the stage setup. They have to move out all sorts of purple carpet. And he is looking incredible. He's taking another selfie. This is no joke. Gothminster is going to turn any second. And once he turns, you are going to hear from the man himself. He is a rock star. He is slaying the Nordic goth scene. Ooh, y'all, I need some water because this, this has gone on for a bit. But he is, oh my God, he is love. He is the force of good, wrapped in evil. You know, you become one of us, he sings. We're going to become one of him because he is who? He is Gothaminster. Now, I'm looking around the room, and I feel like I have spoken to everyone else who is here. Oh, we need to get out of this room soon, but I'm going to talk to Gothaminster before I go, y'all. We are not leaving till we get an interview and a selfie because he is king. Just so you know, it is 707 and we are going to get a final word when he has time. You take that picture with those children. We are not here to deny the children their photo. We would never do that because Norway is love. He is Gothaminster. Hello. Oh. You are live with Europe. Could you please tell us, what is the message of your song? Well, I've written a song uh, which is called We Come Alive. It's about actually broad new horizons and including everyone because I think everyone has the same value and as humans, and uh, we need to accept everyone. And yeah. Two's in talk for that answer. We're going to go because you have to go on stage, but we will just take a picture. Yeah, yeah. We send you love. Three, oh, and you want to get in? Three, two, one. You're, oh, you're amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. So <laughs> Thank you so much. We're out of here. You guys, that was the green room, which is actually pink. 
And we are going to have to sign off. We're going to go to our seat now. But if you follow us on Instagram, we are going to give you the tea. We are going to upload some reels from rehearsal. And you are going to love every minute, I promise. This is Norway. We are saying goodbye. Tools and tools and talk for India. Fantastic show. Big love. Thank you to Anna Vic for filming. And we're going to hit save on this so you can rewatch. Thank you. Bye.